Hello, hello. How's it going? It's been a while since I posted a YouTube video. And today I will be talking about statics. And it's going to be a very short video. I am teaching statics this semester. And this is going to be the first YouTube video of the static series. So it's very, very um, kind of conceptual video about statics, what's the definition of statics, the units that we're going to be using statics, um, how we're going to compute force system, what is, you know, kind of like very shallow um, conceptual video. Well, first, the definition of statics, and I'm not going to write that down because we're not doing a psychology class, but it's a branch of mechanics that concerned with force and equilibrium and body at rest. So, for example, building, you know. Uh, bridges, technically, not statics, but we could do something to make it statics. That's a different topic. So, what we are going to be using in this class, we are going to use a two-dimension analysis, b three-dimension analysis. Well, we're not going to really focus on three-dimension analysis a lot because that's more like a software. I'm going to tell you how would you solve a system three dimensions, but might not give you a question on it for the real test. Um, let's talk about unit in general. And let's see. Units well, in statics, we're going to be using one length unit, which is feet, inch, millimeter, meter. I'm not going to use SI unit. So, those are not going to be used. Two, I'm going to use just imperial unit. Two, we're going to talk about force, or forces, kip, pound, and so on and so forth, but again, kilo newton and newton will not be using them. Three, moment, or moments, kip feet, pound inch, and so on and so forth. And four, we're going to talk about, um, later on, moment of inertia. And one comment that I have to tell you about, the textbook that I'm using. I typically combine some textbook here and there and put them in my like notes. So the vast majority of my notes coming are from Beer Johnson 11th edition. I did took, you know, I did take some um, notes or some uh, sort of examples from other books. But the, the vast majority coming from uh, Beer Johnson 11th edition. And we'll be talking about, you know, uh, first moment of inertia, first moment of inertia. And this is like inch to the fourth, and this is like inch to the third. But let's, for today, let's focus on one only the forces. What is kip? So kip, if you don't know what is kip, kip is a thousand pound. So for example, you're saying two kip. Okay, that means two thousand pound. And if you see me just like FYI, if you see me doing two kip like this, it's 
pretty common for structural engineers to put their unit superscript. And if you're seeing me doing 2100 or 200 um, pound like this, that's also common. We do a lot of sort of abbreviations, acronyms, superscript type of thing. And you might see me do pound force because a lot of people get confused pound mass, pound force. That is one of the most important things that you need to know about me when I solve a problem. And I'm going to go quickly talk about two-dimension analysis and maybe down doing this week I will post an example but just like introduction to statics you know what are we gonna be covering this week we will be covering force unit stuff like that just like you know very shallow conceptual uh, definition about statics so if you recall from physics 1 if you have your X your Y and this is your P for example and here comes something that I did not mention actually the vector vector versus scalar or scalar Oops. vector uh, its magnitude or needs magnitude and direction meanwhile the scalar needs only mag magnitude Oops. let me write that down better magnitude and direction for example you're talking about like speed versus velocity right going 30 mile per hour west vector going 30 mile per hour only that speed so if you have this system again and you have this alpha theta beta whatever you could write p as a vector px i hat py j hat and px could be written as there's your px the relationship between theta and p and px is cosine so p cosine alpha and similarly you're talking about py which is p and you don't get confused if i did this that's the same as scalar meanwhile if this was for example beta then this will be P sine beta P cosine beta just you know make sure that you could correlate between the two kind of Cartesian coordinate or the two um, sort of uh, orientation I think that should do it for this video I will be solving problems hopefully in the next couple of days or so and I would like to see if you guys have any questions, any concern, anything that you want me to talk about it for introduction to statics. I'll sign out for now and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.